to be able to lead and you need to be able to lead with clarity. You need to appreciate different segments of the market and see if you can turn them into some sort of engagement opportunity. When people go through crisis, there's a lot of emotions and a lot of um, mental stress. So if you come through for them during a crisis, you will gain their loyalty and their trust long term. And I'm not just talking about customers. That includes employees. If some employees, for example, they have very special skills. If they see that there is a movement and people are getting fired, then they will just jump ship. And you're literally sending your best people to your competitors. Psychologically, when we are in the panic mode or when there is no direction, it is very easy to fall and to, to feed into fear. And that's the problem because fear can paralyze people and fear can also bring out the worst in us. So I think it's important to shift that thinking from fear to something that is going to be positive, something that's constructive, something that you can really explore new opportunities in. Your stakeholders are still out there. If you're a nonprofit, you will still have members. If you're a volunteer organization, you will still have your volunteers. If you're a private sector um, organization, you will still have your customers. People are still around and they're still reading news, they're still engaging and still consuming. You just have to find a way in how to engage them, how to keep them loyal, how to get them to contribute and give you a feedback of their emerging needs. You know, forget about the past, right? Forget about what worked for you in the past. Uh, think about what can work in the future. How can you be more innovative? During the good time, if you didn't want to try anything, fair enough, but during crisis like this, this is where you can be innovative. This is where you can ask yourself, how can we be more sustainable to take this company over the line?